you have to make a hundred bad paintings to get to the good ones. I've heard this piece of advice so many times throughout my years at art school, through reading and listening to professionals from the last hundred years, or even some modern day vestiges of that world. But a hundred? It seems too clean. It seems like so many pieces. What are they telling us? And what truth is there in that statement? How much time, how many failures, how many tears do we have to shed to get to the good pieces? Let's take a look. First of all, this concept is not limited to paintings, but really every creative endeavor. It might as well be, you have to write a dozen bad books, make a thousand bad drawings, or write 50 bad songs. The sentiment seems rather ubiquitous. For the purposes of simplicity, I will mostly refer to it as pieces and paintings for the remainder of this video, but please just remember it can apply to any creative endeavor. Let us start off by examining where this idea may come from, and some beneficial things we can pull from it, true or uh, otherwise. So where does this potentially come from? Adjusting expectations? Perhaps this phraseology specifically comes from teachers and instructors over the eons trying to figure out a simplistic way to explain to those under their tutelage that it is simply going to take a long time to get to that level of proficiency. There are going to be a lot of mediocre pieces along that path. I've been asked many times things along the lines of, how many times do I need to do this gesture drawing before they'll look good? How many eyes do I have to paint before they look realistic? Maybe the whole idea comes from frustrated instructors trying to tell their students, this just isn't going to happen quickly, I'm sorry. If adjusting expectations is at the core of the idea, then this might have some truth to it. Maybe it is a way for more experienced artists to tell people, just keep working. Just keep working. Trudging through and just get back on that bike. Yes, you will fall off. Yes, it will hurt. Yes, you will probably cry a little, but if you keep getting back on, inevitably, you will get better. Maybe it is just that numbers are simple and we as humans like simplicity. Why did we land on 100? Why wasn't it 111 or 72 or 42? It might be as simple as 100 sounds nice. It's a nice round number. It's easy to remember. And we gravitate towards things and remember things like this. It must be similar to the 10,000 hour rule that we hear about which is then misconstrued from being broadly applicable to all skills, when in reality it seems the 10,000 hour concept was specifically derived from expert violinists and their journey to that level of expertise. We as humans like round numbers, and we like numbers a lot. How often have you sat and thought to yourself, well, how many hours will it take for me to get better at this? How many hours before I understand poses, or the face, or anatomy in general, or maybe math? How much more of this, whatever this is, is it going to take? We seem to gravitate towards having an answer rather than treading water in the vast lake of the unknown. If we really think about it, of course you can't actually quantify for an individual human how long this individual journey will take. You can get good averages, sure, but we are all so different. We start from very different places, very different levels of aptitude, and often different levels of prior education. So perhaps the hundred paintings is just a starting point to understand the path. It is just going to take a long time, and you have to make peace with that before you begin the journey. Now that we've covered a couple brief ideas of where this might be coming from, here are some quick benefits to pull from that notion. But first, if you are enjoying these discussions, please consider liking the video and subscribing as well. It helps tremendously. Well, if you have to make a hundred bad paintings, so what? If you have to make a ton of bad paintings or mediocre paintings before getting where you wanna be, then perhaps the best piece of advice is just make sure you enjoy those paintings along the way. Just because it is practice and progress doesn't mean it needs to be boring or stale. Find a way to enjoy the pieces. Each one offers you the ability to learn something and improve. This might mean that you need to spend more time painting and drawing things that you like, that you enjoy. Give yourself some extra grace and constantly try to remember that you are working through the beginning stages of improvement. It can be tough. If you keep coming back to your creative skill building activities, if you keep reflecting on what went well and what not so much, you will keep improving. 
be kind to yourself along the way. Have realistic but ambitious expectations. These two do not contradict each other, I promise. If you remember how long it takes to improve in an artistic skill, you can hopefully realize you aren't going to be painting and drawing like the pros in a month. But you know what? You might be able to really master one specific skill in that amount of time. So try to be realistic about your expectations and still strive to be ambitious and maybe even surpass them. When comparing yourself to others, you can do it more healthily. As much as we all know we should not compare ourselves to other artists, we do, and I'm not sure most of us will ever be able to completely stop. But if you understand that each of these wonderful pieces has hundreds if not thousands of okay, mediocre, and meh pieces behind it, it deflates some of the soul crushing, I'll never be able to do that. The vast, vast majority of the time, someone can do something we find amazing because they put in their time. They laid the bricks in the foundation to become better. Those bricks are the bad paintings. Alright, last thing I want to bring into this whole concept is how I try to think about my pieces in progress. This might apply to you, it might be helpful, it might just sound silly. I try to think about it in terms of a ratio. For example, right now I am happy with maybe 7 out of 10 of my oil paintings. Happy being a generous term, some days. My goal isn't to get to 10 out of 10 right now. The goal is just to be happy with 8 out of 10. I'm trying to keep my expectations and goals realistic so as not to be flattened by the crushing weight of irrational expectations. So do you have to make 100 bad paintings to get to the good ones? Maybe. Maybe for you it'll be more. Maybe it'll be fewer. But rest assured, there will be many paintings or artistic pieces before you achieve the level of skill you may desire. This seems to be the path we must take. So find comfort in the camaraderie and try to find some friends at the same place in their journey. Community makes most things better. I hope there was something beneficial and helpful to you in here, and I wish you the best in your creative endeavors. Have a good one, y'all. See you soon. <laughs>